Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with a spring flower card using the Write at Home stamp anemone with some watercolor effects using Tim Holtz Distress Inks. This is a beautiful stamp set where it has detailed images and also the solid images that you can use for your coloring. There are stems and flowers included. I'm going to start off with a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor paper and I'll be stamping the stem first and I've decided to do some silver embossing so the first thing I want to do is to grab my anti-static bag paper and rub it before I do my stamping. This will help the embossing powder from sticking to areas that you don't want. The next thing I'm doing is inking up my stamp with Simon Says Stamp Clear Ink and stamping it right onto the paper and I like to use my fingers to rub over the stamp platform for a good image. Once I have my image stamped I will sprinkle on my silver embossing powder and tap off the excess. The next thing I'll do is to use my heat gun to heat set the silver embossing. Next I'll be adding the flower blossom right into the area of the stem and I'll be doing the same process of using my anti-static pouch, inking the stamp up, stamping, and finally heat embossing. To add some color to my flowers I've used the solid piece onto my stamp platform and I have put down some Peacock Feathers ink and I'm spritzing it with a little bit of water so I've only inked up part of the stamp and then I'll press it onto the paper and allow that ink to set in a little bit. This will start the watercolor process. And I'll continue adding more color to the flower until I have my desired effect. For the stem portion of the stamp I'm placing the bold outline and I'll be using bundled sage ink as my green. And once again I'll spritz that with some water and gently rub that onto the paper. The stamp set has other pieces that you can add more depth to your flowers. For this one I've used Salty Ocean and I've done the same thing. I've also stamped the center of the flower. I'm using a water brush to blend the two colors together since one is a little more turquoise and one is a little more blue. I'm also adding a little bit more depth around some of the edges of the flower. I wanted to add a little bit of color around the flower so I'm using some iced spruce antique linen and old paper just to add some light shading. And once everything was dry I stamped the center of the flower and used some silver embossing powder and then heat set that. When I turn the paper to the light you can see how beautiful the silver embossing looks with the blue flower. To finish this card up I have put my panel together with some fog cardstock and I have die cut the painted hello. I'm stacking three of these together so that they have a little bit of lift and dimension. I'm using the Zig 3-way glue pen to add little dots of glue so I can stack these together. I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue to add some dots of glue and then I can place this right onto my card. And here's how my finished card looks with the silver embossing blue flower and die cut. I hope you've enjoyed this process of putting together the Write at Home Anemone stamp set with a watercolor effect. And as always, thanks so much for watching.